So what we have here are two of my favorite guns, a 9mm carbine. This is my CZ Scorpion Evo, the low power scope. We'll put that one aside. The star of the show is the Caltech Sub 2000 9mm. This gun retails for around $425, $450. That's what I got it for at Sportsman's Warehouse. Managed to pick it up maybe around May prior to the shortage. Now this gun does have the shortest grip, which does hold Glock magazines anywhere from 15 on up to 32. or even a drum magazine. Now there is a lot of polymer on this gun. Uh, I've made some changes. There's a lot of videos about this, so I'm not going to go into any specs. Uh, but I made a lot of changes to this gun. I don't want to say that the base build on the Caltech is bad. It's just that some things on here just didn't sit right with me. I just needed to change them. And all the parts that I'm going to go over, I got from M Carbo. They're an excellent company. They have tutorial videos on, on everything you want to put on this gun. They have a lot of different parts. The first thing I changed on this was the trigger guard. I put a metal trigger guard on here. And this is what you use to break the gun open. Also added a metal trigger. It was a plastic trigger on this. Uh, my Scorpion also had a plastic trigger on it. I just don't like plastic triggers. I put a metal notch sight on this. The original sight was plastic with a small, real small peep sight. This will raise your aim point up a lot, um, so I haven't really got that zeroed in yet. It's been a little cold to go to the range lately. I changed all these pins out. They were aluminum pins from the factory which could strip out. They're all carbon steel pins from M Carbo and also black oxide screws. And along with the trigger I also put a trigger spring kit in here. Changed the bar, the springs, which reduces this down to about a 4.75, 4.25 trigger pull. And this trigger guard, the trigger and the spring kit was all in a one bundle. I did attempt to put a larger charging handle on here, but at the time M Carbo had it in two different pieces and the one piece was a very small piece you had to get in there just right. And you have to take this apart to clean it every time so it was kind of a pain. Uh, they do have a part now that's all one piece I just haven't purchased it yet. Um, this charging handle is just fine for me so I'll probably just leave it like like it is. Also got a recoil buffer it's just a simple round rubber piece that, that goes in here in the tube. And also added this nice butt pad on here rubberized butt pad. Now you do have to screw holes into the polymer put this on so you just have to be kind of careful with that and I also put a larger release lever on here it's just easier to do um, just easier to release with one finger or one thumb now these nine millimeter guns they're just really low recoil really low sound signature really nice to shoot really fun to shoot at the range and this gun is very accurate uh, you can see here just my initial shooting at the range and this is just from a bench just casual shooting and a couple of my shots are actually touching you can see how high 
that aim point is. You could chalk it up to my inexperience with uh, these kind of sights. But I have dialed it down a little bit from there since then. So I believe that's all that I've added to this gun. Added this foregrip on here. This is not from M Carbo. Just something I picked up from the gun store. It's real nice to hold on to. Now all these parts that I've added on cost me about $300. So brings it up to about a $700 price point. I still think it's a very good value. Can easily be broke down to about eight inches. You can throw it in a backpack. Super lightweight. I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully you can get your hands on one of these. Uh, I've seen a tan version a little mom and pop gun store nearby. Um, the price is, was about $100 more than retail, so you can still find them here and there. So stay safe and keep shooting.